By 2050, the number of people over the age of 80 is expected to triple globally, reaching 426 million. And as the golden years approach for our parents, many of us will transition into caregivers, navigating a maze of financial decisions that could impact our futures as much as theirs. Taking the initiative now can be a big help in easing the burden down the road. So watch on as we delve into not just surviving, but thriving financially while ensuring the best care for our loved ones. Number 1. Understanding their financial situation. Knowing your parents' financial situation is the cornerstone of planning for their future care. This includes getting a clear picture of their income, savings, investments, debts, insurance policies, and monthly expenses. Understanding their financial landscape helps you gauge the level of care you can afford and identify potential financial gaps early. It prevents surprises and ensures that resources are allocated effectively. Start by having an open conversation with your parents about their finances. Assure them it's for planning and ensuring their comfort and security. Create a list of all their assets, liabilities, income sources, and regular expenses. Ensure you know where to find important documents like bank statements, mortgage information, insurance policies, and wills. Number 2. Long-Term Care Insurance Long-Term Care Insurance helps cover the cost of care that regular health insurance, Medicare or Medicaid might not, such as assistance with daily activities and nursing home care. The cost of long-term care can be astronomical and is often more than most families can handle out of pocket. Having long-term care insurance can prevent your parents' savings from depleting quickly and provide more choices for the quality and type of care they receive. Dip your toes into this by researching different long-term care insurance policies. Consider your parents' current age and health status as premiums increase significantly as they age or develop health issues. Review different plans' coverage options, limitations, and the reputation of the insurance providers. If possible, consult with an independent insurance agent who can provide unbiased advice and help you compare different policies. Remember, the best time to buy long-term care insurance is before your parents need it, ideally when they're in their 50s or 60s. Number 3. Healthcare Costs Healthcare for the elderly can be complex and expensive. As they age, your parents are more likely to need medical care, potentially including surgeries, regular medications, or even long-term care. These costs can quickly deplete savings if not planned for. To navigate this, get familiar with their health insurance details. If you're in the US and they are on Medicare, understand what parts A, B, and D cover. Part A covers hospital stays, Part B covers medical or outpatient services, and Part D covers prescription drugs. But remember, Medicare doesn't cover everything. Long-term care, dental, vision, and hearing aids are typically out of pocket unless they have supplemental coverage. Talk to them about their current health needs and any expected future needs. This might involve conversations with their doctors. Then, explore supplemental insurance options or savings plans specifically for health-related expenses. Being proactive can save you and your parents from a lot of unexpected financial stress down the line. Number 4. Living Arrangements as your parents age, their living situation might need to change, and the right living arrangement can significantly affect their quality of life and your financial planning. Whether they move in with you, opt for an independent senior living community, or require assisted living or a nursing home, each option comes with different costs and considerations. To get some clarity on this, start the conversation early. Understand their preferences and any medical needs that might dictate the type of care required. If they prefer to stay at home, consider what modifications might be needed to make their home safe and accessible, like installing grab bars in bathrooms or a stair lift. On the other hand, if assisted living or a nursing home is more appropriate, research options and costs in your area. Visit these places, ask about the level of care provided and understand the associated fees. And remember, the cost of living arrangements can vary widely depending on location and the level of care needed. So factor this into your long-term financial planning. Starting these conversations and getting your research done early can lead to a more comfortable transition for your parents when the time comes. Number five, sibling contributions. When caring for elderly parents, the responsibility often doesn't fall on just one person, especially if there are siblings involved. 
Discussing how financial responsibilities might be shared is crucial. But why is it important? Well, firstly, it helps distribute the financial load, preventing any single sibling from becoming overwhelmed. It also reduces potential conflict by setting clear expectations from the start. Depending on your family dynamics, this can be a tricky step. Start by having a family meeting. Lay out all the expected costs transparently and discuss who can contribute what. Contributions don't always have to be equal or purely financial. They can also be in terms of time or other resources. Document this agreement to avoid future misunderstandings. Remember, the key here is open and ongoing communication. Things will change, and so should your plans. Number six, emergency fund. An emergency fund isn't just a good idea. It's a financial lifeline when you're caring for elderly parents. Unexpected costs pop up all the time, from medical emergencies to sudden home modifications for safety. Without a safety net, these expenses can put you in a tight spot, forcing you to dip into savings or rack up debt. As with a lot of our finances, it all starts with setting a target. Experts often recommend three to six months worth of expenses, but even a small emergency fund is better than none. Open a separate, preferably high-yield savings account and contribute to it regularly, even if it's just a small amount each paycheck. Treat it like a bill, something non-negotiable. And remember, this fund is for emergencies only, not for planned expenses or impulsive purchases. By consistently building this fund, you're ensuring peace of mind for yourself and the best possible care for your parents. Number seven, income adjustment. Caring for elderly parents might mean you need to adjust your work life, which can impact your income. Whether it's taking time off for medical appointments or reducing work hours to provide care, these changes can strain your financial health. Understanding the potential loss in your income helps you plan and save accordingly, ensuring you don't jeopardize your financial stability while providing care. Begin assessing this by evaluating your current financial situation. How much of an income reduction can you realistically handle? Could you possibly negotiate flexible working hours or remote work options with your employer? It's also wise to look into any employer-provided family leave options or government programs that might compensate family caregivers. Planning for income adjustment early on allows you to make gradual changes rather than abrupt decisions when the time comes. And maintaining that separate emergency fund that we just talked about for such situations can be a lifesaver. Number eight, estate planning. Estate planning is essentially preparing for the end of life, ensuring that an individual's wishes are honored and their assets are distributed as they desire. It's a critical consideration when caring for elderly parents because it secures their legacy and eases potential legal and financial burdens after they pass away. Without proper estate planning, your parents' assets could end up in prolonged probate, leading to unnecessary costs and family disputes. Estate planning is vital as it provides peace of mind for both the parents and the family. It ensures that the parents' wishes regarding their assets, health care, and living arrangements are respected. Moreover, it can significantly reduce the taxes and expenses that come with transferring assets. Together with your siblings, begin by having a candid conversation with your parents about their wishes. Encourage them to update or create a will and designate powers of attorney for both health care and financial decisions. They should also consider setting up trusts if they wish to stipulate how their assets are used after they pass. Consulting with an estate attorney can provide tailored advice and ensure all legal documents are correctly prepared. Number nine, professional advice. Sometimes the smartest move is to consult the experts. Financial planners and elder care attorneys specialize in understanding all the nuances of elder care, from legal documents to long-term financial planning. The pros can help you avoid common pitfalls and make tailored decisions that benefit both you and your elderly parents. For instance, they can guide you in choosing the right insurance, investing wisely for long-term care, and even navigating government assistance programs. Here's a practical tip. Start by identifying the specific areas where you need guidance, whether it's legal, financial, or healthcare related. Then, seek out professionals with experience in elder care. Prepare a list of questions and concerns beforehand to make the most of these consultations. Investing in professional advice now could save you from costly mistakes down the road. Check out this video next on some dangerous retirement red flags you should watch out for.